Hey guys, I'm back at it again, same day, different video. Just realized that not a lot of people know what diodes are. So um, I'm gonna show you guys when, where, and how to use them, uh, what they are, and why you should use them. So uh, let's get into it. Again, Vita camera's full. So what we got going on is the phone. I actually think I like this a lot more than doing all the cutting and editing. I think I'm gonna start doing more of these vlogs type videos where I just walk through everything real quick. So these are diodes, all right? They come in many different shapes and form. Actually, the, these are not the diodes themselves. The diodes are inside. They're small capacitors um, that allow current to travel in one direction. So here what you got is you can have two connections going to one thing, let's say the fan, let's say to this first fan right here. So what you would do is you'd have the PCM on one end, so if the, and the AC switch on the other. So if the AC is on, it turns on the fan. However, it does not allow power to back out, okay? So all that are connected here, there's dials in between, uh, which I'll try to get a picture of, put in a corner somewhere around here, uh, that allows current to flow in one way, one way out to the other, but it does not backfeed. This is the same you know, component that they use for your blinkers. For instance, if you hit the turn signal to the right, the right side turns on, but not the left. If you hit it to the left, left turns on, not the right. However, if you hit the hazard lights, both turn off. Same light, three different switches. How is that done? This is how. They all go through a diode. And depending on what you connect it to, whenever that activates, it activates it. Um, and if both are on, you know, activating it. It doesn't really make a difference. You can have your blinker on, um, left blinker on, hit your hazard light. Nothing is going to happen, and that is because of this. Now, funny enough, this is actually the first time I've bought them in this style. Um, I know these styles are typically a lot more used for the uh, trailers and the people who wire up trailers like to use these. I normally just get the dials and um, solder them into the wires. But I wanted some that I could just tuck away and I could disconnect and put back at any time. Um, so I decided to go with this. This, this raw is actually a lot more expensive for the price that I paid for this here. I probably could have, no lie, bought maybe 60 or 80 dials. So um, this is what a dial is, what it does. Um, how you should use it when you need to control one thing uh, through multiple methods. Uh, the funny thing, not funny, the great thing about buying this, it has a diagram that kind of illustrates everything um, or how to wire, even if you need to wire in multiple diodes, uh, three, four, five, six, eight different connections, you can use multiple diodes, all going to one source, for example, a light bulb here. Uh, just like I told you guys before, this is a quick tip. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you enjoyed it. How you like the video and don't forget to hit the bell so that way anytime I post any of these quick videos one two three maybe five minutes at the most you'll be the first to know about it. let me know what else you want to know about I'll be glad to educate you until next time